Hey, what's up guys? Julian here. So I know I'm not done a YouTube video in a long time, so I'm gonna be taking you through my leg day workout. I had a really long day at work, so I'm go, gonna go ahead and get some pre-workout in. Usually, I take like a scoop, but well, I'm taking a big-ass scoop because I'm fucking tired. But we're gonna go ahead and kill it. But recently, I've been really transitioning over to the East Coast, where I'm at right now. I was in California, but everything's been good so far. Been changing up my diet and as well my training. A lot of it was functional, but now I'm getting right back into aesthetics and bodybuilding. So far, so it's been pretty well, and been making a hell of a lot of gains for sure. What? I'm gonna chug this, and then we're gonna get right to it. Good. All right, cut. Right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and start this workout. So before we actually start doing resistance training, we're gonna go ahead and warm up. The reason why you warm up is because that way your body is pretty much flexible and that way you prevent injury. So what I like to do before I actually do any type of, you know, presentive, like actual resistance training with leg day, is that I like to do a couple things. So first thing, stretch, and then a couple of warm up exercises. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. thing Exercises, let's hit the weights. Alright, so start off with leg curls. The reason why you do leg curls is because most of your testosterone is in your thighs, and that's what I love to do first because the rest of my workout is pretty much ready to go. And I get the most performance out of my entire workout when I start like this. So let's get to it. So we're gonna hit squats. And the reason why I have this on me is because there's a lot of nasty ass motherfuckers in the gym. And I don't know about you guys, but it's not sanitized most of the time in the gym. So I usually have something right now today. I have a skin shirt just to kind of just keep my barrier between the bar and my skin. That's my personal sake because I just don't like, you know, it makes me sweat and all that jazz. But 
grab my end of squats. knocked out a couple sets of squats. Normally I do squats in the beginning because you utilize a lot of energy in order to actually perform at your maximal level. So that's why I like to put squats in the beginning of my workout instead of in the back end. So we're gonna do one more set of squats and we're gonna do it. Extensions. This is going to be a really good workout for your inner quads and you get all the serrations. So what I typically love to do is perform like 20-25 reps and then I usually do four or five sets of this and it's really focused on a squeeze on the top. Their grant program. The teachers are indebted to 
Something really to take in consideration is do everything in moderation and at your own level. Do not try to do somebody else's weight or focus on anybody else but yourself because you can't compare your chapter one to someone else's chapter 15. That's one thing that I've learned in my own personal fitness journey is that you can't really compare yourself to anybody else because you have your own performance, your own goals, your own certain physique, and that's it. Just be yourself and you'll be all right. Push, crank him up, crank him up. Alright guys, that concludes my leg day workout. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys on the next workout video.